hold on to your hats, guys, because we've got a wild ride ahead. Google has been the internet king for the past 20 years, but with AI advancements, it's finally facing some competition from its arch nemesis. The company that started in a garage in Menlo Park back in 1995 has become the trillion dollar gatekeeper of the internet, making a jaw-dropping $256 billion in revenue in 2021. Ads, ads, and more ads. 80% of Google's revenue comes from advertising, with search ads and YouTubers leading the charge. Meanwhile, Microsoft's search engine Bing is struggling to keep up with only 9% of the market share. But until now, Google has never faced a real challenge. I mean, the name Google has become a verb for searching. When a brand becomes a noun or verb like Googling or Ubering, you know they're the American leader. But wait, there's more. For the first time in 20 years, Google is facing a real threat and it's so serious that they declared a code red internally in December 2022. So what's got them so worried? It's none other than ChatGPT, the chatbot created by OpenAI. This program has taken the internet by storm, instantly answering questions and prompts better than a human or search engine. Think of it as Jarvis, but without the British accent. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. Get ready for some serious excitement, folks, because this is just the beginning. But before we go on, we'd like to welcome you to our channel. Now, let's continue. So, what is ChatGPT? Think of it as the ultimate word wizard. It's like having a super smart nerd friend who knows the answers for everything and can talk like a normal human being. Sort of like your super annoying younger sister on steroids. Previous models were like word amateurs, only knowing a small dictionary and not able to perform as many tasks. But with GPT-3, we've entered a whole new world of language processing and artificial intelligence. This is thanks to the magic of transformers, which are like ninja neural networks that can track relationships in text and understand the context of words. And unlike other networks, transformers can process text lightning fast and efficiently, making them the ultimate language processing tool. They also have a secret weapon called self-attention mechanism, which allows them to understand relationships between all words in a sentence, no matter where they are. For example, if you ask GPT-3, I arrived at the bank after crossing the river, it will immediately understand that bank means a river shore and not a financial institution because it can attend to the word river in a single step. So why the hype around ChatGPT? OpenAI has made it available for public use, which has allowed people to give feedback and improve the model. This has naturally made ChatGPT an internet sensation and a hot topic of conversation. But just because something's popular doesn't mean it's the best. Now, this is all pretty interesting, but where is Microsoft in all of this? Microsoft has big plans for OpenAI and ChatGPT. Has it invested one billion in 2019 and is planning to invest 10 billion more this year? This takes OpenAI's value to a whopping 29 billion dollars. So, is Google search in trouble? And what about all those savvy SEO experts? Well, hold on. Don't panic just yet. You see, ChatGPT is here to save the day with quick and accurate answers. No more endless scrolling for us. But this could mean that people may start relying on ChatGPT instead of Google for their search needs, and that could spell big troubles for Google. Companies may no longer see the need to promote themselves through Google, which could hurt the search giant's bottom line as it lives through those search ads. And it's not just Google. Thousands of marketing agencies depend on their SEO skills to help clients show up on Google. People switch to ChatGPT. It could be a disaster for all these companies. But hey, ChatGPT is already pretty impressive, and with the upcoming release of an even more advanced GPT-4 model, the future looks bright for AI-powered search. Google has dominated the search game for years by providing the best search results for its users, but ChatGPT is changing the game by providing instant answers to questions without the need for searching or clicking on ads. This poses a major threat to Google's business model. 
Its CEO, Sundar Pichai, is taking it very seriously as he has already held several emergency board meetings and reshuffled the work of multiple in-house special task groups to focus on responding to ChatGPT. And it's not just Google that has reason to be concerned. Microsoft is getting ready to launch a version of Bing that uses the artificial intelligence behind ChatGPT to answer search queries directly. Could this mean a ChatGPT power Bing is ready to take over? <laughs> leave Google in the dust? It's hard to say. But one thing is for sure, ChatGPT is shaking up the industry and forcing Google to think outside the box. With deep learning models, any company with deep pockets can build a top performing chatbot. Google is not one to be left behind and they're planning to launch their own AI chatbot, Sparrow, later this year. Developed by Google's DeepMind AI research team, known for creating programs that beat world-class chess players, Sparrow is said to be so amazing that a Google employee even claimed it had a soul. But with Sparrow and other AI chatbots on the rise, there's a big change coming to the search market. Goodbye to a centralized search market dominated by Google. Hello to a decentralized search market with high quality search results from multiple providers. Imagine being able to get your answers in chatbot form embedded directly in the devices and apps you use, provided by different companies. Search will no longer be limited to Google, but available everywhere, nestled in the apps you use. In this new search market, the big players will be companies with who thinks, tons of data, and a huge reach. Take Apple, for instance. With 1.8 billion active devices worldwide, they have a ton of exclusive data and the power to train their own chatbot with it. This means they can create a chatbot that's perfectly tailored to their customer, and then, get ready for this, deploy it to over a billion devices at once. Talk about a power move. Google better watch out. Now, Google has a ton of data from their own products and a wide reach through Android devices. But their position as a default search tool on Apple and Microsoft devices is in jeopardy. However, there are still some challenges to be tackled with chatbots like ChatGPT. For starters, companies need to figure out how to make money from them. And ChatGPT, as it stands, has only been trained on data since 2021. So it's lacking in current events. And there's the legal side of things things, like how to handle answers based on other companies' data that they won't get paid for. But don't worry, Google's not going anywhere just yet. It just seems like their era of total dominance is coming to an end. Microsoft and ChatGPT might not be the ones to take down Google, but they'll definitely play a big part in the search revolution that will chip away at Google's lead. There may not be one clear winner, but there will definitely be a loser. We won't know for sure until ChatGPT weighs in. And there you have it, folks. The debate on whether ChatGPT will kill Google or not. It's clear that the search game is changing and companies with access to data and distribution will have a huge advantage. But there are still some kinks to be worked out with chatbots like ChatGPT and Google's not going anywhere just yet. It remains to be seen who will come out on top in this search revolution. But one thing's for sure, the future of search is an exciting place. So what do you think? Will ChatGPT kill Google or will they both coexist in a new era of search? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Our goal with this channel has been to create entertaining videos on business and life in general. And if that sounds like something you'd be interested in and you'd want to tune in for more, hit the subscribe button.